We stand for the prayer of the church. <clears throat> Onward in Christ footsteps treading, pilgrims here our home above, full of faith and hope and love. Let us do the Father's bidding. And so we pray, living Lord Jesus, on the first day of the week, you rolled away the stone from the tomb and opened up life for all who believe. Roll away the stones of fear in our lives. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Living Lord Jesus, replace our fear with bold faith, a faith that looks at challenges, pain, setbacks, and heartaches, and gives it all to you. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Living Lord, release us from the prisons of fear that we might be set free. Set free all who live in bondage to anxiety, chained to addiction, enslaved to evil. Be with those suffering in various ways. For Sarah, Tatum, Vern, Jennifer, Paul. For our brothers and sisters at Williamstown Lutheran Church as they uh, are without a pastor. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Living Lord Jesus, you set your table before us, the remembrance of the Passover fulfilled and the anticipation of the future prepared for us. Give us faith that we may receive this Holy Communion for our benefit and show forth love for you and for all people. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, living Lord Jesus, you address the sick and suffering with your grace to heal, relieve, and restore. Give to all the sick, the wounded, the grieving, and the dying the full measure of your healing grace to support them in their need. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Living Lord Jesus, you bid us go forth confidently with Easter faith and a deathless and endless hallelujah. We will do just that in the power of your Holy Spirit and as a witness to the world. Jesus, Jesus let, let me faithful be, life eternal grant to me. We continue at page 194 in Lutheran service book, the service of the sacrament. The Lord be with you. unto the Lord our God. It is sweet and right so to do. It is truly good, right, and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God. And most especially are we bound to praise you on this day for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ the very Paschal Lamb who was sacrificed for us and bore the sins of the world. By His dying, He has destroyed death, and by His rising again, He has restored to us everlasting life. Therefore, with Mary Magdalene, Peter, and John, and with all the witnesses of the resurrection, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify Your glorious name, evermore praising You and saying, Give us our trespasses, 
that we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, this do in remembrance of me. In the same way also after supper he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always.